Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 2 uh, US related video. Uh, today we are on the Boston Sprinter route in the northeast of the US. Uh, and this was requested by uh, Sean, uh, who actually, um, well, he said pretty much do something in the northeast where he does um, trucking. So I thought we'd come on the Boston Sprinter as this is in the northeast and uh, do a run in the ACS 64, uh, which is sort of the symbol of. Uh, well, I suppose modern U.S. railroads, I guess. I mean, this is like one of the most modern U.S. locomotives. I know there's, what is it, the Charger now? But this is sort of, you know, the most modern, you know, electric and all that. Uh, anyway, just waiting to leave Providence Station. Uh, it's about 30, about 40 minutes up to uh, up to Boston South. We're during that 15, 12, so it's a nice journey. Um, yeah, anyway... Let's get the uh, train doors shut. Actually, we're going to use the little... Oh, hello. Oh, don't want to go in there. But that's the toilet in there, isn't it? Don't know. Um, let's get the door shut. There you go. I love why you can use that to do that. Now, I believe that is the only way to close the doors. So, obviously, from a button. Uh, we need to set that to passenger. And I think, apart from that, we are ready to go. Um... Make sure they're wrong. We'll get the ATC on, we'll get the access on as well, and we'll get the alerts on. They're fairly simple to use, although at times it can be very slow. Like coming out of Providence, it's fairly slow, but you're only really a minute, two minutes late, so it's not too bad. But let's get going. Lovely. Let's, uh, Let's uh, get a screenshot. That's quite cool as that comes out of Providence. Works its way out. But yeah, heading up to uh, Boston South Station. Obviously on the newest route to release for Train Sim World 2. Obviously, well actually no, when you're watching this, the newest route would be the Navico Dresden. But as of recording this, the newest one is the Boston Sprinter. But we'll say the newest US route then to release to Train Sim World 2. I've seen um, quite a few uh, US routes releasing recent. Well, not I wouldn't say recently, recently, but this year. Um, yeah, so we've had uh, what was the first one? Uh, I think it was Clinchfield Railroad, which obviously came out um, back in March. March or we'd think March already. I still remember it so well. Um, yeah, March already. Blimey. Um, and then we've had obviously Cane Creek, which was in um, was in July already. Yeah, already two months ago, pretty much. Uh, and obviously, yeah, now the Boston Sprinter in August. But I wonder what the next US route will be. Cool. Right, we are trying to follow the access limit, which obviously at the moment is sixty. So yeah, we're just gonna be following what that says for most of the journey. As you can see the limit on there, the 60, and even on the speedometer, you can see the sort of little blue circle, which indicates what speed the... Well, I mean, the blue dot pretty much indicates um, it when you have sort of the system on for speed. So if you were on, say, uh, the LGV Mediterranean, and you had the uh, speed set to 320, uh, obviously it would show up as the blue... Dot. Yeah, it's sort of yeah the cruise thing, majiggy. <laughs> anyway, let's um get that up. Indicates what the train is telling you to do, and what speed the train, or well, what speed the train is telling you to do. Anyway, let's speed up. I've got a sixty in just over a mile, we're just under two miles. Some sort of yard here as we come out of Providence. But yeah, hopefully everyone is having a good day. Uh, obviously if you are enjoying the video so far, do leave a thumbs up and do subscribe if you do want to see more. I'm sure we probably are doing a fair bit today. Uh, obviously, obviously Bus Sim 21 would have come out. Um, Navico Dresden, obviously it's, it's uh, September the 9th. So we'll probably be streaming that as well today. So yeah, a fair bit going on. But yeah, just hope these uh, free extra videos... Um, would be good to get out.
well, I don't know how many for what I've been doing. I've done obviously the Long Island one. This is the second one. And I believe Amela did request we do something on the TS, uh, which is, I think it was New Haven to New Rochelle. Probably won't do the full run, I think that's over an hour. Uh, but sort of 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, yeah, on that route. Uh, and I might even do a Washington to Baltimore uh, first look as well. I haven't, uh, oh, hello. Yeah, I haven't tried out that route, so it'll be interesting to see what that one's like. And obviously that one actually will be included in the base game for Train Simulator 2022. So yeah, I think I will um, give that one a go as a video for today. That's a maybe, you might not see that one. There's an F40. Let's get that, there we go. And we're due in there in about 16 minutes time. We've got 26 miles to go. So we've got a fair distance today. Oh, I was going to try and see if we went past the track distance. Well, the track speed, would it penalise us? So, so we'll follow. Oh, it's done it again. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, bring it down, bring it down. Don't worry. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Down to 60 again. Put that to idle. Pop that back up. There we go. But yeah, it's fairly slow coming out of Providence, but once you're sort of, you know, south of Atterbury, you just fly for the rest of the journey. Uh, obviously up to 125 miles an hour. But yeah, the first little bit of this route is fairly, fairly slow from Providence. Let's see, how long has it been already? It's been, yeah, sort of seven, well, probably by the time we speed up, so it'll be ten minutes. So it's a fairly slow section out of uh, Providence, but yeah, once we do get going, we get going. I wonder where that line goes off over there. Always wonder when you see all these other tracks going off. I think that one's more of a yard, I think. Oh no, maybe not. But yeah, following the access speed. So even that says 125 miles an hour and on the HUD. Really depends what the speed this says, this one here. Let's get that up. Right, is it going to go up? Yes, 125. So let's get going. Cool. Right, and we're off. So yeah, well now we're probably going to be whizzing along the route. I think that's South Atterborough coming up already, by the looks of things. So let's uh let's get going. But yeah, really enjoying this line, really enjoying it. It's um it's a brilliant line. And a brilliant addition to uh Train Some World too, because I believe this route actually hadn't been modelled before it came to Train Some World 2. Um I don't think on TS or any sort of third party people actually had done it. So I think this is the first, you know. For it to be in there, in there, in here. Through we go, South Atterborough Station. There's not too many stations on the on the line, so they're fairly easy to memorise. Say one, I don't know, Rapid Transit. I've had that route for uh, three years. I still don't know all of the stations because there is so many on it. We're proper getting the speed up. I mean, how many miles have we gone already? I swear it's, what, 38 miles, isn't it? No, we couldn't have gone 14 already. I'm pretty certain it's 38 miles, isn't it? No. No, I think we've. I think it was, what, about 7 miles we've gone? Unless it was 38 miles at the beginning. Might have been. No, I can't have been. Because that would already be half, and we're not even anywhere close. But yeah, it's a long way. Oh, hello. That is not liking what I'm doing there. Right, get the brakes on. That's telling me to go to 110. Okay, there we go. School bus. Yeah, I mean, this is shoot up to uh, Route 128, and enough of that, we can shoot up to Back Bay and then to Boston South. And we're doing it sort of. Hmm, 
mid-afternoon, so it might be fairly busy, you know, trains getting ready to start picking people up from work for uh, for the rush hour. There we go. And we can shoot up again in a second. Let's go back up to 125. And the next station we'll be passing through is Atterborough. Cool. Now we've got about 13 minutes now until we get there. Well, 12 actually. To go 22 miles. So yeah, it's very quick. Let's try and get a flyby shot before it is too late. And soon enough, the train will just pretty much be going faster. Well, as you know, I think the camera travels at about 1.30. Um, because I think it's most... I think it's sort of... Well, no, what am I saying? I think the camera speed is to do with the HST. Obviously, that was the first ever passenger route, which goes at 125 miles an hour. So I reckon the speed of the free camera is actually based off from that route. Obviously, when it first um, got sort of designed, I guess. I don't know. Probably not. Oh, hello. There we go. Let's just whiz ahead to Atterborough Station. But you can see staggered platforms here. And we are fair a bit ahead of the train now, but it won't take long for it to catch up. I mean, any second now you'll hear it screaming past. There it is. Look at that. And that is brilliant. Cool, let's uh, get that. And I believe this locomotive is actually based off a European... I think this is based off the Euro Sprinter. Which I'm pretty certain is the 182. I mean... Yeah, I'm pretty certain it's it's based off the Euro Sprinter. I mean, in some ways it looks similar. Sort of. But it's a... Um, Lovely train to drive. If anything, it reminds me, the cab reminds me of a DBBL 185 or 146. It's got that similar feel to it. Uh, you know, brakes that side, um, the throttle sort of here. You know, it's got a similar feel to it. I think that means dead section, so just sort of coast it. Lovely. There's a little bit of speed. Cool. But on our way, it's fairly simple. I mean, it's fairly relaxing this route, especially if you're doing. Well, actually, even a uh, an MBTA service is fairly relaxing. But when you're sort of, you know, just whizzing along at 125, no station for what 17 miles. Uh, the speed's not really going to change. It will say 125 all the way to Route 128. So it's fairly relaxed. And we should soon be coming up on Mansfield. Oh, let's uh, bring that down. There we go. Yeah, that is fairly smart. And you do get in-cab signalling. I mean, like a cab signal aspect. Obviously saying clear, then clear again. And obviously tells you what speed to go. So, yeah, it's fairly... Fairly easy. I mean, even if you want to do hard off, I mean, it's probably fairly simple on here. Let's get that up. Lovely. Yeah, thanks all for coming in. Yeah, Mansfield is coming up now. And then after Mansfield, I believe it's Sharon. And it's Canton Junction. And then Route 128. And also a little reminder, as we actually are in the ACS 64, uh, we do have our ACS 64 merch. You'll be able to see it on screen now. And also we do actually have 20% off until September the 22nd uh, using the promo code SUMMER20. But do go and check out that design. It is, uh, it's amazing. Right, Mansfield, let's get... Oh, I think this is it coming up here. This very soon. Yeah, here it is. Let's get that on. Big blast of the horn. As uh, we whiz through the station. Lovely. 
Has anyone ever been to one of these stations and sort of just seen the train whizzing by? Or have you even travelled? I mean, have you travelled on the North East Corridor? Obviously, personally, I haven't. I haven't even been to the US. Would love to. Um, but no. Well, I mean, if I do go there, I probably would go on the North East Corridor. But yeah, has anyone actually been on it? I mean, I think in the sort of the east coast of the US, I think sort of train travel is uh, obviously more preferred or more favoured, obviously, over other parts of the US where it's pretty much just all plane travel to get from place to place. Obviously, the east coast is uh, one of the oldest places, well, it is pretty much the oldest area of the US, so that's why it's got a more sophisticated um, rail network, I guess. And obviously, it's the most sort of um, populous as well. And obviously you can't really fly a plane from one city to another, which are like 30 miles from one another. You probably could, but there wouldn't really be much point. But yeah, I'd love to go on this route in real life. Especially the New York section, obviously that over the um, Hell's Gate Bridge, that would be cool. Right, 10 miles to Route 128. Let's try and get a flyby shot. Although it's pretty hard now as the train is, well, going at a very good speed. And we are whizzing along. Let's uh, get the HUD off without trying to pause it as I usually do. I suppose <laughs> this will have to do. Pretend we've got the camera on the fence. There it goes. Look at that. Cool. I mean, this is the fastest US route we we could actually ever get. Um, cause apparently this is the fastest railroad in the US, so I don't think any other route we would get would be faster than this, which is quite cool. I mean, this is the highest speed of the US. Well, for now, because obviously they've got the um, California High Speed Project. Um, so I suppose if that ever gets completed, I suppose that probably would be faster than this. Although, what about Brightline, though? Brightline, I'm pretty sure they, they are going to run up to 125 miles an hour. So take back what I said about the US's fastest railroad. I mean, for now, it is the fastest. But yeah, I think Brightline is, uh, they want to go up to 125 miles an hour. I think between, uh, what is it, uh, Fort Lauderdale and Orlando, something like that. So yeah, for now this is the fastest. Right, here's Sharon Station, which is quite a cool place to sort of just watch and sit trains whizzing by. Especially when they're going at this speed. Here we go. So it'll be Canton Junction next. There we go, lovely. But yeah, lovely locomotive. Probably actually my favourite US train to drive, although, no, now I've said that, I've just like, no, the F40, and it's like, no, the cab car. There's so many good trains. Uh, the M7, that's brilliant to drive. The M3, uh, yeah. It's a really tough decision. Because they're sort of just good in their own ways. Like driving, you know, a big freight train on Sand Patch Grade, feeling the power. Or even the F7, feeling the power coming out of that thing. It's just, oof, it's great. Um, but then sort of just feeling the rush of, say, the ACS64 whizzing along. So it's tough. Actually, let's try and come to a final decision of what my favourite US passenger loco, or passenger train is. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's, it is a really tough one. I don't, think I, I don't think I can come to sort of a final conclusion of what my favourite one would be, because they're all good in their own way, as I've said. I think the ACS-64 probably would be up there. Yeah, the ACS-64 has probably got to be up there. I'll just say it's got to be up there. What another service here? This is Canton Junction. Uh, what about, let's say, freight locomotives? I do love driving the F7. We don't go in the F7 much, but I do love driving the F7. I think that probably 
does scrape top place for me in terms of freight locomotives. But I don't know. Because then like the C40, I like that as well. Right, let's bring that down. See, with US, no, with UK trains, obviously, I have my favourite, which obviously is the 377. Um, but I suppose it's quite easy for me to say that because I've been on that many times in real life. With US locomotives, I, they're literally a whole world away. I've never been on them, never seen them in real life. Um, so it's sort of hard to judge which one's your favourite. Anyway, let's start bringing that down. Uh, we've got one and a half miles to Route 128, so it's not too far now. And then from there, it's then 10 miles up to um, uh, to Back Bay Station, and then pretty much just around the corner to Boston South. See the station coming up? We're probably at the brakes on a little bit more than that, as at the moment we're going still a little fast, and the station is right there. Train, you might want to start slowing down a tad more. I always seem to come in a bit too fast. Come on, down you go. Talking to trains again, as you do. No, we really do need to bring it down. That is really quick. Right, that should be okay. Not really. That's 44 miles an hour into a station. And the brakes on this aren't brilliant. Okay, that's more like it. Yeah, that's uh, that's fine. I can have that. Here we are, Route 128. Cool. Here we are. I've actually watched um um some actually raw footage of uh, from this station. Um, even the Acellas stop here. I was really surprised to see it. But yeah, the um, Acela Expresses stop here. I don't really see how they are more of an express if they're stopping at a station like this. Um, but yeah, the Acellas stop here as well. Right, but I mean, it doesn't seem like there's much here though. I mean, it's just sort of this. But I suppose maybe it would be too far to travel to Providence and then change to get on the Acela. I don't know. I haven't got the collectible there. What are we up to? Got one and a half an hour to Washington DC. That's kind of a long way. And then one to well fifteen fifty that'll be going to Staunton and then the one sixteen thirty it's it's fairly quiet then at this time on the line. So as most of the trains are sort of elsewhere doing things. What about going north? Let's have a look. Fourteen fifty, that's our one. Okay, so at this time of day, it is fairly quiet, the line. Um, which I suppose, you know, travelling between city to city in the middle of the day, I don't think I suppose many people would be doing. But we'll see, by evening, this will get pretty busy. You know, trains every half hour or so. Which obviously for a US line, that's uh, quite frequent. Oh, hello, we don't want to be going up. Hello, dioramas. I wanted to say hi, but now I'm under here. Let's uh, let's go back to the overground. Take a few screenshots. I'm obviously trying to build up a collection of screenshots uh, for obviously news videos or roadmap videos. As you'll see, the ones that we've had at the moment have been there for zonks. Um, so I do want to sort of change it up, and especially now we've got the next gen version and the fancy zoom feature. You're right. Okay, yep. Yeah. There you go. Come on. Well, he's all ready for summer, isn't he? Is he going on holiday, is it? Right. Let's um. Let's get going. Boston Back Bay next. We're due in there in well nine minutes. Obviously, top speed will be 125 miles an hour again. So it doesn't really. Well, not really a challenge for us. Off we go. Cool. And I believe this is the old station here, the one actually underneath Route 128. Um, someone, I think it was Rob, uh, he did a bit of research, and the station actually got, re I think, rebuilt in 2000 or something. Um, 
Yeah, I'm guessing that one there is the old station. And they were like, okay, this is not a really good station, let's rebuild it. Off we go. On our way again. Let's uh, whack that up to full. But yeah, hopefully everyone is enjoying the a lot of content I have been uh, putting out recently. Uh, obviously, as of recording this, Busting 21 and Dresden aren't out at the moment. Um, but I'm sure when you are watching this, there's a lot going on today. Um, so, yeah. If you uh, do want to see more, then do hit subscribe. Obviously, we don't have this many videos in one day, usually. Um, obviously, new things are out, and obviously, it's a bit of a... Yeah, today. We stand with the US. Oh, hello. No, 120, yeah. Was that a GP38 there? Or was that an SD40? I think that's a 38. You can sort of tell by the amount of room at the front. Yeah, I think it was a 38. Because the SD40s have quite a sort of big walkway at the front. Much more room. Yard up there. That's got an incline, isn't it, that there? And yeah, I believe this line are coming up on Reedville Station, which I don't think any trains actually stop at going towards Boston. As uh, well, they will go to the left there and then go to Boston. There we go. But I believe where that line went off. Look, this is actually another. Oh, hello, there's trains here. Oh, I see. You would never notice they were there. Wonder if there's services to get them out. Then I'm guessing there must be. We'll have to have a look at some point. There's a service sitting in this yard here. Um, yeah, this... Oh, we've got another station coming. Let's quickly do the belt. Let people know we're on our way through. Come on, yep, yeah, coming through. And let's get the belt off. But yeah, this line here uh, actually does go into Boston South, I believe. It goes sort of this way up. Uh, yeah, it goes up from here up to here. I believe, and you get this line here, which then goes on to sort of two branch lines. It's quite cool the network around Boston. Um, yeah. Okay, now we've got five minutes to go, six miles, which shouldn't be a, uh, shouldn't be any problems for us. I'm trying to get to that sort of speed, or trying to get there on time. What time did we arrive in at Route One Twenty Eight? Oh no! The, oh hello. We arrived at. I think we arrived early, I think. Um, yeah, I think we arrived early. Or at least on time. Yeah, we did. We did arrive early. Oh, well, it's gone back up now. Yeah, that's my chair. You can hear there in the background. Still haven't got any oil. Right, 120 coming up. That's actually already 120. That's more of a reminder. But yeah, we're coming into the Boston area now. You know, we're sort of heading down into sort of the trench as we make our way through uh, through Boston. Whoa, oh my God, 30. What's going on here? Oh, 30 miles an hour now. What's that all about? Oh, we got it in suppression. Apparently when it's in suppression the emergency brakes won't come on. Yeah, why are we going down to 30? We've still got three and a half miles to go. I bet any second that's going to go up, but when we get to this 120 it will shoot right back up to 120. Calling it. Wait for it. It's going to go right back up. Then we would have come down for no reason. Okay, maybe not. I see. And there's a 60 coming up, but a 30. Oh, we're bringing it right down. And. Almost at 30. Yeah, yeah uh, that's. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know why we have to come down to 30 then. But we'll get down to 30 and we'll go, yeah, we'll go straight back up. We're now at 30 miles an hour. We're still two and a half miles out. Maybe we're running early. Didn't want us running early. Ooh, that's quite a cool screenshot. Is that veers it's right around the corner? Don't know. Well, we're now at 30. I don't know if we should speed out. I don't know if it would come down to 30. I mean, yet yeah, we're still two and a half miles out. Mm, I don't trust it. I don't know. Uh, see, I want to. I want to speed back up. I want to get there on time. Oh hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thirty. Okay. Now there is an approach medium signal coming up. So maybe that's why. Maybe. Let's have a look. Uh, any train ahead of us which would make us slow down. Doesn't look like it. I don't know. Um, well, I suppose we'll just stay at this speed, I guess. I and mean, we're supposed to be there in a minute's time. Which we probably would arrive there on time, but... The train's being mean to us. No, we're, we're going to speed up. I don't know if it would come down to that speed, but... I do want to get there on time. Hey, and that's gone too. Cheeky bugger, it changes as soon as we boom and turn it off. Now it's 45. Right, okay, go up to 45 then. <laughs> Now, as soon as we get to 45, we'll go back down. It'll be like, yeah, we, we trick you. Come from Ruggles Station shortly. There is there, I believe. Ruggles. And you go into the tunnel below Boston Back Bay. Well, not below Boston Back Bay, but below Boston. Obviously, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are watching this. Uh, and who have obviously played Reza to Dresden now. How is everyone getting on with it? Hopefully everyone is uh, is enjoying it. It's a, it's a brilliant route. Right, 1.1. 1 .1. So yeah, we, we probably won't arrive there on time, but yeah. Yeah, going into the uh, tunnel, there's the Boston sort of skyline. And into the tunnel. So I believe it actually goes under some sort of park, I think, because uh, we actually did fly this uh, on Flight Sim. Oh, hello, yeah. Yeah, we um, did a flight on Flight Sim where we pretty much flew over all of the rush hour routes. And obviously, well, North East Corridor is one of them. And I think there was just a big bit of greenery above this. So I guess it was a park. Well, I mean, I, won't, I guess I guess it is a park. Now in the tunnel. Oh, that is weird. The, all the coaches are completely dark. And the loco is like a big light. There you go, it's gone now. I got an F40 there. Look at that, brilliant. Probably a bit fumey there. But yeah, coming into back base station. Let's get the bell on. You can see sort of the track turning in now. And we're pretty much to the end of the platform here. As we snake our way in. Not going to do the horn as we're sort of under underground. Be deaf and everybody at the station. Cool. Here we are. Boston Back Bay, which is a fairly busy station. 
as you get sort of the um, background AI services going off towards Forge Park, which is um, just near Ruggles, where it sort of turns off. And here we are, Boston Back Bay Station. And yeah, hopefully everyone can hear me all right. I don't know if you, hopefully you can, but it's uh, fairly late. I am recording this. Lovely. So she has a lot of um, stuff to record at the moment. Obviously, on top of the usual schedule. Now we just wait. There is the US flag. I think it's got um, 50 stars on it, hasn't it? 50. So I don't think, was it, um... Oh, what are the other two? I, oh, I can't remember now. Uh, it was now Puerto Rico and I think it's... It's not Guam. Hawaii. I don't think they're like main, main states, I don't think. So I don't think they are actually on... On the stars. I'm not going to sit and count them all. Um... Yeah, I think that yeah, fifty US states. I'd like it's just fifty. I'd, I'd like yeah, it's five oh. I don't know. Then you've got um well, I think it is fifty two, but yeah, fifty sort of mainland, you know, all connected together. No, because Alaska, but I think Alaska's on there as well. Yeah, I think it's Hawaii and Puerto Rico, which are not on the on there in terms of stars. I think. Anyway, let's get going. Oh my no, that's not Guam, is it? No. Right, off we go. So I used to be able to name pretty much every US state. I don't know if I can now. But probably the majority of them. Probably above 40. Um, yeah, fascinated with... Uh, oh, hello. Oh, geography and all that. And places and... <laughs> Let's pop that up. So we've got a red coming up. That red should clear, I believe, as we do come into the station. Cool. Yeah, this is the main sort of throat into uh, Boston now. Oh, the computer is turning itself off. Hopefully, yeah, we're all good. The TV decided to just go. <laughs> Got 15 coming up. Still following the um, ATC limit or the access. Well, at the moment it is ATC. So what's the difference between access and ATC? What if we turn off ATC? What does that do? See, so now it goes to access. Hmm. I don't know. What is the difference? They're literally the same system, but just one. I don't know. Because yeah, now we're back on access now. Oh, yeah, hello. Now let's just go to zero. Now, there we go. Right, we're now cleared into Boston. Round we go. It's fairly slow coming into here. I mean, it is a terminating station. And obviously, come around a fairly sharp turn into it. Oh, wow, I like that. Look at that. You get some brilliant screenshots on this route. And look at the train going around there. Oh, I was going to try and stick my head out and 
See the whole train coming around. But that's saying I can go at 20. What happens if we speed past the track speed limit? Okay, it does still penalise you. But we are fairly busy. All the trains obviously getting ready for the evening rush hour. But yeah, I think there'll be another sort of one, two videos. Um, so yeah, I'll do the Washington DC to Baltimore on train simulator. And then probably the... Uh, New Haven to somewhere on uh, on Train Simulator as well. So to pretty much, yeah, that's true. We've pretty much done almost like all different sections of the Northeast Corridor. Obviously, I know we did Long Island Railroad, which isn't part of the Northeast Corridor, but it's connected to it. And then we'll be doing the Northeast Corridor, New York, uh, obviously on Train Sim, and then Northeast Corridor, Baltimore to Washington. So we've sort of all done, all connected up. Oh, there we go, yeah. But obviously, yeah, I know, uh, well, most of you probably do know what day it is today. Um, and obviously the reason why we are doing some extra US videos. But yeah, hopefully everyone is having a fairly chilled out day. I'm sure yeah, we do all stand with the US on today. Right, 160 yards. Here's the um, MBTA coaching stock. Which is pretty old. As opposed to the F40. The F40 I think got refurbished recently. So all that shiny and new bit and the coaches are still fairly old. Right, we're only three minutes late. I blame access. <laughs> here we are. Wants us to stop here. There we go. Concourse. Concourse, concourse, concourse. Right, let's get the doors open and stop saying concourse. Uh, let's get the headlights to that. And I think that is pretty much it. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it, everyone, for... I wonder if this is the same server which goes back out in a couple of hours. Um, yeah, obviously you will find a link in the description or below to the uh, Discord server, uh, to the PayPal and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Obviously 20% off at the moment using the promo code SUMMER20 until September the 22nd. Obviously, oh, sorry everyone, but I'll go on then. Uh, but yeah, thanks all for coming in and I hope to see you in the next one. See you all and take care. Bye guys.